From standing out in college to becoming an NBA sensation, Jalen Williams is changing everything. With stats just like players with double his experience, there's no doubt that he's the next big thing in basketball. Jalen Williams is the future. But what makes him so good in the NBA? Let's find out. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more great NBA content. First up, let's take a look at his college days. In 2019, Williams made an impressive debut in Santa Clara, scoring 13 points, securing five rebounds, dishing out four assists, and stealing the ball twice against UC Santa Cruz. During his freshman year, he played in every one of the 33 games, really stepping up as a starter in the second 23. He topped the team with 44 steals and held a steady scoring average of eight points per game. By his sophomore year, Williams was on fire, starting all 18 games and becoming the team's second leading scorer with an average of 12 points. He even scored his first career double-double during the 2021 WCC tournament, putting up 13 points and grabbing 10 rebounds against Pepperdine. Williams truly shined in his final season. Ranking second in the WCC, he averaged 18 points per game and shot a remarkable 51%. He consistently hit double digits in scoring in 31 of 33 games, and in 21 of those, he scored 16 or more points. Highlights from his career included a career-high 30 points against Hawaii and a game-winning shot against BYU, where he finished with 26 points. Williams wrapped up his college basketball career by declaring for the NBA draft in March 2022. Then the draft came along and he became part of the Oklahoma City Thunder. Williams was picked 12th overall by OKC in the 2022 NBA Draft and quickly made his mark. As a smooth, small forward known for his efficient scoring and ability to contest shots, he stood out from the start. He became the first Santa Clara player drafted since Steve Nash back in 96, and the highest drafted Bronco in the modern era, only second to Ken Sears from 55. He kicked off his rookie season with a bang on October 19th, 2022, scoring five points in just six minutes during his NBA debut. Unfortunately, he soon faced an injury, suffering a right orbital bone fracture while defending a dunk, which required surgery. But that didn't keep him down for long. Williams bounced back and became a full-time starter when teammate Jeremiah Robinson Earl was sidelined. His breakout moment came on November 30th, 2022, when he helped the Thunder overcome a 20-point deficit against the San Antonio Spurs, scoring 27 points. This stellar performance won him the NBA Rookie of the Month title for October-November, putting him in the company of past winners like Russell Westbrook and Josh Giddey. By January 31st, 2023, Williams had earned a spot in the 2023 Rising Stars Challenge, averaging 12 points, 4 rebounds, and 3 assists over 46 games. He kept up his strong play, setting a personal best with 32 points against the Utah Jazz and nearly matching it with 31 points against the Charlotte Hornets. His rookie year wrapped up with an average of 14 points on 52% shooting, and he was the runner-up for the NBA Rookie of the Year and made the NBA All-Rookie First Team. Continuing his momentum into the 2023-2024 season, Williams scored a career-high 36 points against the New York Knicks and nailed a game-winning jump shot against the Portland Trail Blazers on January 23, 2024. So, what makes Williams' game stand out? It's his combination of scoring efficiency, defensive play, and the resilience to bounce back and excel even after setbacks. But it's also his playing style. In today's NBA, the ability to switch positions and add versatility on the court is crucial, and Williams has got it down. At 6 foot 6 with a solid build, he's incredibly versatile. Back in college at Santa Clara, Williams played point guard, but since joining the Thunder, he's been all over, playing from power forward to everything in between. In his rookie year over 75 games, Williams had some impressive stats. 14 points, 5 rebounds, 3 assists, and 1 steal per game. He was also incredibly efficient for a rookie, shooting 52% from the field, 35% from three-point range, and 81% from the free-throw line. Defensively, he was like a Swiss army knife, capable of guarding any position depending on the game's flow and matchups. 
Now, with the Thunder loaded at guard, Williams' ability to play as a combo forward is just what the team needs. He has the size to handle the 3 or 4 spot, the passing ability of a point guard, and his 3-point shooting has been on fire lately. Add his defensive skills, and he's exactly the kind of player any NBA team would love to have. But the stats only tell part of his story. Williams brings that special it factor, stepping up when the game heats up. He's a natural leader, shines under the spotlight, and thrives in high-stakes situations. During Oklahoma City's play-in games, he averaged 14 points, 4 rebounds, 4 assists, and 3 steals per game. And don't forget those amazing plays during the regular season that really made a difference. In short, Williams is the real deal, both on and off the court, and he's just getting started. But how does he compare to Paul George, a former OKC player in the same position on the team? George is undeniably one of the NBA's top players, a nine-time NBA All-Star and a six-time member of the All-NBA team. And a lot of people like to compare Williams to George back in 2019. In the 2018-2019 NBA season, Paul George had an amazing season, averaging 28 points, 8 rebounds, and 4 assists per game, while also shooting 44% from the field and 39% from three-point range. Comparing this to Williams' current season stats, Jalen is averaging 19 points, 4 rebounds, and 5 assists per game, with a field goal percentage of 54% and a 3-point shooting percentage of 36%. Williams and George both bring versatility to the court, impacting the game on both ends. They're not just scorers, they're all-rounders who play well defensively too. But here's where the comparison gets interesting. George was already a star player by 2019. He was the go-to guy, leading the team night in and night out. Williams, on the other hand, is still in the early stages of his career. His value to the Thunder right now lies in his potential. He's showing flashes of greatness, and if he continues to develop at his current pace, he could be huge for the Thunder's championship aspirations in the future. Judging by his stats right now, his future is filled with growth. Who do you think the top clutch scorer for OKC is right now? Is it their MVP candidate dropping 31 points a game? Is it Chet Holmgren, the rookie with the silky shot who's stuck behind the towering Evian bottle of a star? Nope, it's Jalen Williams the three-star high school player who became a three-year starter at Santa Clara, then became the 12th overall pick in 2022 and almost secured Rookie of the Year, now he's one of the go-to guys for the Thunder, shining bright on a team eyeing a championship. This six-foot-six swingman is a beast in the clutch. He's shooting a scorching 69% when the game's on the line. To put it in perspective, only nine NBA players have scored more in the fourth quarter this season, and most of them are MVPs or All-NBA stars. And let's not forget his overall stats. 19 points, 4 rebounds, and 5 assists per game, shooting 54% from the field. Before Jalen, only five young players like Giannis and MJ had put up similar numbers while shooting over 50%. And now... Jalen's on track to join that elite club. He's ranked between the top 30 and top 50 in the league by various metrics. That's the kind of trajectory that puts him in all-star territory. Comparing Jalen to other rising stars on his stage, projections show he's right up there with them. But hey, projections are just educated guesses. There's no guarantee Jalen will reach MVP status or multiple all-star nods. But looking at what he's done so far, there's a pretty exciting chance he could. And that's got Thunder fans going crazy with excitement. What do you think? Can he be the next biggest player in basketball? Let us know in the comments below. And in the meantime, check out these two videos as well.